Hello from the Dukas Copy TV studio in Geneva. We are talking about the question if Switzerland has become less attractive to foreign companies with Mr. Philip Monnier. He is executive director from the Greater Geneva Bern area. Welcome to the studio, Mr. Monnier. Thank you. Welcome. So uh, it is a fact, Switzerland seems to be less attractive to foreign investors. But is this also true for Western Switzerland? You know, I think it is true that, uh, that uh, Switzerland has become a little bit less attractive. Uh, we, are, we have very good business condition in general, but recently three elements have become a little bit less good. Uh, one is a strong Swiss franc, especially from January of this year. The second reason is the future introduction of quota for foreign employees, including European one. And the third reason is taxation. We, uh, taxation has been extremely attractive. It's still very attractive, but less attractive. And now to your precise question whether it is also the case of Western Switzerland, I would say not at all because we have uh, record years. We had a record year in 2013. On 2014, last year was even much better. Mm -hmm. And so why is the region Western Switzerland more successful? You know, I think we, we don't have any secret. We don't have any secret, but I can think of three, three things. The first one is we have established a good contact with a lot of businessmen, a lot of politicians in many different countries over many years, and we are harvesting the, the fruit of those contacts. Uh, the second reason is that uh, we have developed a lot of precise reason why companies should come here. And the reason are, per industry, per function, like intellectual property, uh, international sales, pro-company and pro-project. So we go very much into the detail and we really, when we meet companies, when they, are, they have an initial interest, we really try to be very precise. On the third reason, maybe because we work fast and, and with a lot of enthusiasm on, 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 on a potential uh, investor, they feel it and they appreciate it. So, however, the, in the middle of January, enthusiasm in the econo economic e community in Switzerland was really down because of the appreciation of the Swiss franc. And uh, so this definitely also hits the region here, uh, isn't it? You know, I think it, it, uh, it uh, of course, it, it has an important effect, especially on, on all those companies depending on export. But overall, I would say that there are also some mitigating factors. The first one is that if the franc is strong, it's easier to import, to outsource in foreign countries. It is easier to acquire foreign companies. And then um, strong franc is not a new f phenomenon in Switzerland. It has started many decades ago. And the Swiss company always managed to respond by being more innovative, more efficient. And I'm sure this will be also the case. Another element is that now the euro is a little bit weak. So if the euro is weak, it will probably help boost the European economy. And since Europe is our main client, if Europe is, is booming, uh, Switzerland will indirectly benefit as well. So let's talk about, let's say, the less favorable tax situation. Is it uh, also burdening the economy? You know, Switzerland has, has been a sort of exceptional in terms of taxation for uh, companies. And then f uh, maybe uh, eight years ago, we start being less good. Um, we, we enter a, a period of uncertainty, which is not good for investors. And now we see the future in a much clearer fashion. The parliament, our parliament will make some uh, major decision this year, but we are more or less sure that we will have the same rate for everybody and that the rate on profit for companies will be between 12 to 16 percent, depending on the canton, as usual in Switzerland. On 12 to 16 percent is very competitive. It's a very competitive rate. And then there are three more uh, additional positive elements. One is that the rate is sustainable. It's a low rate, but sustainable because the, the financial situation of our federal government is very good. Uh, the second reason is that uh, we will have additional incentive, like uh, it will be possible to, to have tax holiday if conditions apply. 
we will probably have a sort of patent box, so company doing a lot of research will pay uh, less taxes. So now the situation is actually improving. So since the beginning of the year, in which sectors would, were you especially able to establish new business relationships in Switzerland, in Western Switzerland? I think that we, we have company from many, many different sectors. Uh, the main uh, common element is that the value addition is high. The value addition of the company, of the project is high. Is high. And then we, we started a, a number of years ago to, to put more emphasis on uh, emerging countries, including the BRIC, Brazil, Russia, India and China, because in those countries the personal elements are very important, uh, more important than the rational elements. So to sum it up, actually, you were, you were very modest when telling why the Western Switzerland region attracts uh, more uh, investments right now. But what could the rest of Switzerland learn from you? I don't really know what they could learn from us. They, they, we, we observe what they do. We observe what uh, all our competitors do in Europe, in Asia. On, on, on by, by analyzing what uh, our competitors do, we can certainly learn something we can and on, on they can as well. Thank you, Mr. Philippe Mounier from the Greater Geneva Bern area for being here today. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Do make sure to keep clicking back on the Dukas Copy TV website for latest updates and exclusive interviews. Have a great day and see you next time.